This story was sent to me by Julius Garcia, and I actually heard about it in passing when it flashed on my screen from one of those news channels. But before I get into it, I've always thought that the tiger was one of the most majestic animals ever put on this earth. I always said that if I ever got a chance to go to Thailand and, you know, the little uh, exhibit that they have there where they allow the people to go there and pet the tigers and take pictures with them, I would be able to do that. But right now, that's definitely not happening. But let me tell you something that did happen involving a tiger. So in the Bronx Zoo in the Bronx, New York, the first Wuhan positive tested uh, creature has emerged. So a tiger in the Bronx Zoo has tested positive for the Wuhan. So it's all those people out there that think they're so arrogant, so high and mighty, so in tune and touch in whatever cannot get it. A tiger just got it. Something that is not a human is the first animal that tested positive in America, and I'm almost certain that it'll be more. This lets you know right here, without the shadow of a doubt, that not only can anyone get this illness or this disease, but anything can get it. That shows you how powerful this thing is. It says, last month, Dr. Fauci insisted at a White House task force pro press briefing that there was no evidence that pets were vulnerable to the novel Wuhan. Then scientists in Belgium and Hong Kong confirmed that they had found pet cats owned by people infected with the virus that had somehow caught it as evidence was detected in their urine. At least pet dog has also been infected. So it sounds like to me this tiger wasn't the first thing, the first animal to catch it. It might have been the first major animal or first major wildlife animal i guess you could say non-household pet to catch it as cnn so aptly puts out the weak positives produced in tests of these animals haven't offered any reason for scientists to suspect that these animals could infect humans only that these pets could be infected by humans as humans were once in turn infected by animals no article that we've seen in the main in the mainstream U.S. press has offered a detailed explanation for the scientific community's reasoning in thinking that these tests suggest that pets can infect humans. But while CNN and others have re reveled in mocking alarmists who believed in this Internet conspiracy theory, they neglected to explain that there are two critical reasons for this. The first being that cats and dogs infected in past Wuhan outbreaks, namely the SARS outbreaks from 2002 to 2003, have shown that strains they typically pick up don't cause respiratory problems. Have we confirmed that this is true for the novel Wuhan? No. The second is that they haven't found enough examples, and investigators tracing cases haven't found a case yet where it's obvious that a pet infected a human. Still, the World Organization for Animal Health warns that pets who test positive should be quarantined and any humans who interact with them should wash and sanitize. We digress. But we bring up all this because a few hours ago, the management at the Bronx Zoo learned that Nadia, a four-year-old Malayan tiger, has tested positive for the Wuhan, according to the statements from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Wildlife Conservation Society, which manages the New York City Zoo. I'm sorry, Zoo. The tigers believed to have contracted the virus from an asymptomatic zookeeper. The, the Bronx Zoo closed the public to the public in mid-March, and the tiger that tested positive began showing symptoms on March 27th. Here's a statement from the Wildlife Conservation Society. Nadia, a four-year-old female Malayan tiger at the Bronx Zoo, has tested positive for the Wuhan. She, her sister, Azel, two Amir tigers, and three African lions have developed a dry cough and are all expected to recover. This positive Wuhan test for the tiger was confirmed by USDA National Veterinary Services Laboratory based in Ames, Iowa. We tested the cat out on an abundance of caution and will ensure any knowledge we gain about the virus will contribute to the world's continuing understanding of this novel uh, virus. Right now, millions of New Yorkers are probably wondering how the tiger managed to get a test before their friend, brother, sister, mother, father, grandfather, aunt, etc. Of course, the USDA stressed to the public that this is the first case of its kind and that further studies are needed to understand it if and how different animals could be affected by the virus. Meanwhile, they urge any pet owners who test positive to also quarantine their pets. 
In other words, they had to put the animal before the human. But this is America, of course. But I can see why they did it at the same time because they said this was the first of its kind. So the curiosity is definitely there. So basically, they're saying that the only way that these animals could possibly get it is if they were infected by another human being. It's reverse now compared to the SARS thing, which I did not know SARS was a strain of this virus back in 2002, 2003. That seems that's so long ago, 2002, 2003. I was in middle school and during those years, it's crazy how far back that was. But yeah, this will let you know right here that anything now, not just anyone, but anything can get this virus. In other words, no one is safe from it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I'll talk to you in the next one.